Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over Most Fear Part 2. It is in the game. Super hyped for Part 2. Guys, we're looking forward to it because, of course, Scary Sharp was like I said, it's like the bread before dinner. Scary Sharp is, is, is I mean, it's okay, right? They're not going to be crazy fast, not crazy stats, but they're going to be, in real life, great players. But in Madden terms, they're, they're decent players. Now, Scary Strong typically introduces some pretty good players on the D line, O line, so on and so forth. And then, of course, Scary Fast is like, that, that's the dessert, right? We're all hyped for the, the steak or the dessert, whatever you want to call it. I'm hyped for that one, but Scary Strong is still fun. Let's so open up this Good Morning Pack real quick. Good Morning Madden Pack, I'm sorry. And see if we can get anything out of this most fear related. No, I do not believe there's an LTD. At least they didn't go over one. Nick Bosa, Mo Lewis. Not a great pack. Now, guys, want a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad? All you gotta do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and of course, make sure to turn on that noti bell next to the sub button. Now, for today's shout out, we got Richard Quillen. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the uh, Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Greatly appreciate you, man. And if you guys need coins, training, currency, anything to go pick up some of these new most fear players, I know you're probably gonna want to. Head over to my reserve down below. Use code Poodle for 50% off. It's currently discounted. Make sure to take advantage. Now let's head on over to the sets and let's see what we're dealing with here. So most feared, we got Scary Strong, 92 overall Jim Brown, 92 overall Aaron Donald, 90 overall Scary Strong Heroes, and then the usual set stuff. So Jim Brown and Aaron Donald, guys. Now that's a banger right there. Aaron Donald's a banger. Jim Brown, not so straight. We got to go check out the stats, of course. And then, of course, the 90 Strong uh, Heroes, which... I'm gonna go over them as well. Now, I actually like them personally. Everything's not really loading too well though, so we're gonna check out the block and everything else. Um, also, guys, I wanna go over real quick a point glitch going on in the store right now for all you guys who like opening stuff like this. If you go to browse store, let's see, right here. If you go to the 85 plus overall most hero, uh, most feared hero, right here, it's currently glitched apparently. And from what I'm hearing on Twitter, you can open them as many as you want, so you can keep opening it up. Now, thing is. It's probably worth it to do so for a dollar fifty. Now it all comes down to whether you guys you guys spend money, right? But if you guys are money spenders and you look for stuff like this, apparently glitch. So glitch pack, take advantage. I don't know how long until it's patched. Probably pretty quick, so I, I recommend trying it as soon as you can. And if it only if only works one by the time you get to it, again at least you got the one. Not too nothing too crazy there. Now of course more of the solo sequences has opened, guys. Just quick quick heads up. Jake and Stein, all that stuff. Go check that out. They have opened up more stuff, which means you can get more rewards. Which helps you get some sets done and get you some more of the lower players, get you some coins, get you some potions, so on and so forth. But make sure you're taking advantage of that. Go ahead and go finish up some solos. As well as, guys, make sure you are going ahead and playing your house rules still. Now, they did say a new one is coming. So make sure that you are playing that. We're still dealing with turnover terror, but once we do get another one, we probably will get some more free players and more stuff. I hope they don't continue rewards. I hate when they do that. When they, um, the reward, like if you get your 20 wins now, they drop new house rules. It's a new style, but the rewards stay the same. And if you already got it, you, you can't keep going up in it. So pretty much it's just one house rules for the most part. I, I hope it's a whole nother reward sequence. And moving on from that, guys, let's go check out the block. Check out some of the new scary strong players and see what we're dealing with today. Um, let's go check this out. I'm excited. I, I love I love most fear. Most fear is such a fun time. Again, I'm waiting for scary fast for make any of my big moves, though. So let's go check it out. Quality. I start with the masters and we'll work our way down here because we have a few good lower ones. So let's see, let's go down. Okay, so Khalil Mack actually is pretty cheap in value, 330. That's kind of crazy. Um, Where are we? Jeez, Aaron Donald, four, looking like 470, but 540 so he doesn't get bought out on me. 79 speed, 86 excel. Solid, solid athletic system form. 93 strength is really good. 87 tackle, 92 play rack, 92 block shed, 92 power movement, 90 finesse. And there it is, guys. He's a complete threshold power rusher. He's a complete threshold finesse rusher, complete threshold run stuffer. He's insane. He is insane, guys. This is a great card. 88 impact blocking. He's good. 85 hit power. Uh, hit power. Powered up and counted up. 93 in your team. It's a set it and forget it end. I will be picking him up as soon as his price comes down a little bit. No joke. That is going to be the next player I pick up from here because that's worth it for me. For me, I see that as that is my year round right end. So let's go check him out. 399. You can probably get him for a decent price pretty fast, guys. Remember, he's part of a set. So sets don't. When it's a set master, it's hard to keep their value up because, of course, they're only worth what that set goes for. So, of course, you just sit here. Keep checking it out. He'll probably end up being mid 300s. And after I want to end up scooping him for the most part. Hopefully, I mean, oh my god, they're selling out. They're selling out crazy fast. You guys are probably doing it right now. I don't know. I don't think he's worth it for 450 because of course I know I know he'll go down. 100 percent know he'll go down. So that's why I don't think he's worth it. Next, let's, next, next. Next, let's check out Jim Brown. 
Jim Brown. Now, here's the thing with Jim Brown. He's not going to be the fastest back in the game, which does kind of throw him off a little bit. But the card art looks pretty cool there. I'll check him out. 90 speed, 90 excel, 87 agility, 90 carrying, 68 catching, 86 change of direction, 91 trucking, 91 break tackle. You know what this, guys, you know what this is? This is what Jim Brown, I mean, this is what Derrick Henry should have been. This is what we expected, right? We got Derrick Henry. We expected the 90 plus truck, 90 plus break tackle, the average change of direction, and the 90 speed. Powered up, 91 speed. So powered up in Kemdo, guys. He's going to be one of the best power backs in the game. Now, personally, here's my opinion. If you like Bo Jackson, you're probably going to like Jim Brown. Probably. If you don't like Bo Jackson, you're probably not going to like Jim Brown either. Because think about it. They got about the same speed, around the same height, around the same change of direction, around the same agility, around the same power stats. And he's actually technically slower. Personally, low juke, low spin. Even the stiff arm's only an 89. I think powered up and counted up, he's going to be just another Bo Jackson. And I really don't like Bo Jackson. So for me, Jim Brown's going to be a, a no. I'm going to stick. I'm probably pick up LT, like I said, once his price keeps coming down. I want LaDainian Tomlinson or want to wait for a Harvest Barry, potentially. It will be like more of my permanent back. But Jim Brown's not bad. Like I said, he just reminds me too much of Bo Jackson. He's literally like a Bo Jackson... Uh, build and i'm just i'm just not about that right now I, I i don't like bo jackson i never played good with him the way i run is more of a finesse running and bo jackson more of a power runner and i don't know i feel like power running and much just, just don't go together if you know what i mean guys uh i mean again maybe it's my play style but you don't get power animations the same way you do like on regs and stuff like you do here next guys quentin nelson another guy for scary strong which is actually a really good left card i'm excited for him power him up get him up to 91 overall of course that got bought out on me gonna be pretty cheap pretty fast as well 90 overall left guard uh let's see he's gonna get as far as run blocking goes 90 run block 90 run block of power and 86 run block finesse but then the pass block 86 pass block 86 pass block power 84 pass block finesse okay this card's ass you want to know why you want to know why it's ass because ea knows about that set you know the set that i love that great set that you can do and get really cheap stuff and get free heroes and everything they know about that set so you know what they do they want to make sure that you can't go ahead and go get Aaron Donald Master as well as Quentin Nelson and someone else for cheap because that's what they want to do here. It's Quentin Nelson's ass. Will I still do the set? Probably. I love doing the set. But why do you gotta that's not that's messed up. How okay, he's a 90 overall card, right? And he has four stats and as a 90, and everything else is mid to low 84. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. They messed him up bad there. His impact blocking is at least a 90 and his lead blocking. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I might still do the set and still might put him on my team just to have him there. Because the set's just worth it. That's messed up. They did Quentin Nelson dirty. That really sucks. I was super excited for Quentin Nelson. I love Quentin Nelson in real life. He's a monster. And then we got DJ Reader, which is the next one. Come on, please tell me you didn't kill him too. Please tell me you didn't kill him too. 91 block shot. I guess he's decent. 65 speed, 77 excel. 88 strength, 91 tackle. 88 play rec, 91 block shot. 85 power move. Okay, DJ Reader is decent. I mean, he's a pure he's a pure run stopper. It can't pass rush at all. Of course, you power up, put power moves on him and stuff. You probably could pass rush a bit better, but for the most part, average, average, average defensive tackle. Nothing too special. But at least they didn't kill him, right? Like he has, a, he has thresholds on what matters from a defensive tackle, and he's not going to be dual purpose, of course, because that's just how that works. I mean, he's decent. Uh, I don't think the, I don't think the heroes are that good this time. I don't think they were good last time. I like Adam Thielen, Levante David weren't good. You know, guys, when I was talking about this promo, I literally said. Like, last year's heroes were okay. If they get any better, it's, like, going to be a banger. And I think they made them worse. I don't know why. Last year, we had some good ones. We had a Denzel Ward. Banger one. We had um, Tyler Lockett. Earl Thomas was even decent. They were really trying hard here to make sure we don't make anything off those, those hero sets. If, I mean, if they really want to do that, maybe they should take away giving them back to us now. Because they shouldn't kill heroes to make sure we don't get good players back, like, for free. Kind of annoying. I mean, they're not bad. Like I said, they're just not, like, usable, I guess is the word I want to use there. They're not, like... They're not like meta, if, if that's the term I want to go with. Like, if you're a Quentin Nelson fan, by all means, go ahead. But I guess that'd be the word. They're not meta. And I'm going to show you guys a few of the ones I see up front here. So, Andy Janovich, New Scary Strong as well. Um, Moderate, 83 speed, 88 lead block. That's really all I need to know there. 80, 83 run block, 84 impact blocking. What's good is that he has speed. So, he's going to be a lot better than slower fullbacks on that for blocking for you. Actually, it's falling for 42k. That's not a bad price. Uh, let's keep moving on. Taylor Luan is scary sharp. Let's see. Okay, we got Landon Collins, which is actually pretty cool, but I don't think his stats gonna be too good. 87 speed, 89 excel, 80 zone, 92 hit power. Cards average. I mean, he's gonna be a good user linebacker. So like, if you want to put him in the box, like a big nickel scheme or something, he'll be a good, he'll be a good safety in the box. You can use you can use his hit power, his speed, his six foot frame, and his excel is about it though. He's not gonna be great at leaving alone. 
again as a linebacker maybe because he has the 80 zone at least but still nothing too special there let's see what else we have in terms of this i think those are our two scary strong guys right all right okay let's move on down one more show you guys next i mean the low ones get really bad so i'm not really going to concern myself too much with those but i will show you the ones i see up front here so we got dexter lawrence for the giants actually pretty cool only things i've noticed here is 89 tackle 81 blocks 82 power move be a decent budget pass rush on a giants team for a very very currently depleted uh giant steam team that's gonna be really tough to make at this point in the game and then we got trey turner decent right guard maybe a little budgety right guard yeah 80 run blocking across the board almost 80 pass block gonna be a budgety right guard nothing too bad there but guys that pretty much wraps up the video don't forget the glitch packs most feared part two i expect most feared part three on wednesday which should be scary uh fast but again it's probably gonna be scary tall and they'll probably push scary fast to last because of course they want to save the best for last now guys about it for the video if you need coins heading over to my reserve down below pick up currency training and coins there super cheap pick up aaron down all these guys you want and um yeah you just go pull the 15 off take advantage of discounts i'm out see you the rest of your day Peace.